Jesus. Hello everyone, myself Professor Amul Mishra, Assistant Professor of Department of Electrical Engineering, SND College of Engineering and Research Center, Yaula. Today we are discussing about the electromagnetic relay. First we see the relay overview. So what are relays? Relays are electrical switches that open or close another circuit under certain conditions. The purpose of relay. Isolate controlling circuit from control circuit, control high voltage system with low voltage, control high current system with low current logic functions. How a relay works. In this image, we have shown that how a relay will work. So electromagnetic relays. Today we are discussing on topic electromagnetic relays. Uh, electromagnetic relays are work on the following two main operating principles. First one is the electromagnetic attraction type and second one is the electromagnetic induction type relay. The electromagnetic attraction type relays have three types. First one is attracted armature type relay, second one is solenoid type relay, third one is balanced beam type relay. Then induction type relays or electromagnetic relays in electromagnetic induction type relay has two types. Induction type over current relay that is non-directional relay and induction cup relay that is directional relay. So first, first we have seen that the first we are seeing that the attracted attracted armature type relays. Uh, in this image, we have shown the attracted construction of attracted armature type relay. These have a coil or electromagnetic electromagnet energized by a coil. The coil is energy energized by an operating quantity like V or I voltage or current. Under normal condition, the coil cannot attract the plunger due to spring force. Under fault condition, the fault current increases, so armature or plunger gets attracted to close the contacts. Operating principle of attracted armature type relay. <clears throat> the electromagnetic force developed on moving element is proportional to the square of the flux in air gap. If saturation is neglected, force will be proportional to I square. Therefore, F is equal to K1 I square minus K2. They, where F is equal to net force, K1 is a constant, K2 is a restraining force, including friction, I is a current in relay coil. When relay is on the verge of operation, the K1 I, I, I square is equal to K2. Therefore, I is equal to under root K2 upon K1 constant. Advantages. Advantages. The relay responses to both IC and DC contacts. Light moving parts, small length of travel of armature or plunger in air gap. Therefore, relays are fast in operation. These relays are instantaneous, but operating time varies with current. The operating time can be adjusted by adjusting the air gap, so relays can be made slow operating relay. Attracted armature type relays. Applications. For overcurrent protection, differential protection, auxiliary relays, definite time lag, overcurrent, and earth fault protection, we are using attracted armature type relays. Second one is a solenoid type relay. It consists of a solenoid and non and movable ion plunger arranged as shown. Under normal operating condi conditions, the current through the relay coil C is such that it holds the plunger by gravity or spring in the position shown. However, however, on the occurrence of a fault, the current through the relay coil becomes more than the pickup value, causing the plunger to the attracted to the solenoid. The upward movement of the plunger closes the trip circuit, thus opening the circuit breaker and disconnecting the faulty path. The figure shows the construction of solenoid type relay. It will show a trip circuit, ion plunger, and coil. The third one is the balanced beam type relay. It consists of an iron armature fastened to a balanced beam. Under normal operating conditions, the current through the relay coil is such that beam is held in the horizontal position by the spring. When a fault occurs, the current through the relay coil becomes greater than the pickup value and the beam is attracted to close the trip circuit. This caused the opening of circuit breaker to isolate the faulty circuit. Uh, this will show the balance construction of balanced beam type relay. 
in which the signal going to trip circuit the ion armature the fixed coil and the spring in this construction of balance beam type relay the induction curve structure of relay it most closely resembles an induction motor except that the rotor ion is stationary only the rotor conductor portion being free to rotate the moving element is a hollow cylindrical rotor which turns on its axis the rotating field is produced by two pairs of coils wound on four poles as shown the rotating field induces currents in the cup to provide the necessary driving torque this image to shows the signals to the trip circuit the stationary core and the rotor the 51 and 52 represent the fluxes produced by the respective pairs of poles then the torque produced is proportional to 51 and 52 sin alpha where alpha is the phase difference between the two fluxes a control spring and the back stop for closing of the contacts carried on a arm are attached to the spindle of the cup to prevent the continuous rotation induction cup structures are more efficient torque producer than either the shaded pole or the wet power meter structure therefore this type of relay has very high speed and may have an operating time less than 0.1 second the induction type over current relay is called as a non directional relay also this type of relay works on the induction principle and initiates corrective measures when current in the circuit exceeds the predetermined value the actuating source is a current in the circuit supplied to the relay from a current transformer these relays are used on ac circuits only and can operate for fault current flow in either direction this is the image of attraction type relay in which the primary winding and secondary winding shows the disc is also shown in this construction the construction details it consists of a metallic or aluminum disc which is free to rotate in between the poles of two electromagnets the upper electromagnet has a primary and a secondary winding the primary is connected to the secondary of a ct in the line to be protected and is tapped at intervals the tappings are connected to a plug setting bridge by which the number of active turns on the relay operating coil can be varied thereby giving the desired current setting the secondary winding is energized by induction from primary is connected in series with the winding on the lower magnet the controlling torque is provided by a spiral spring the spindle of the disc carries a moving contact which bridges two fixed contacts connected to trip circuit when the disc rotates through a preset angle this angle can be adjusted to any value between 0 and 3 360 by adjusting this angle the travel of the moving contact can be adjusted and hence the relay can be given and any desired time setting the operation of disc type relay the driving torque of the aluminum disc is set up due to the induction principle this torque is opposed by the restraining torque provided by the spring under normal operating condition restraining torque is greater than the driving torque produced by the relay coil current therefore the aluminum disc remains stationary if the current in the protected circuit exceeds the preset value the driving torque becomes greater than the restraining torque consequently the disc rotates and the moving contact bridges the fixed contacts when the disc has rotated through a preset angle the trip circuit operates the circuit breaker which isolates the faulty section the directional relay induction relays are two types non directional relays and directional relays difference between the two relays the non directional relays are activated by only current flowing in the circuit to be protected directional relays are activated by power flowing in the specific direction hence it requires both current and voltage of the circuit to be protected it requires specific direction of current flow the directional power relay the figure shows the construction of directional power relay in which the potential coil has shown and the disc is shown and and below the disc the current coil is always shown construction distance it consists of two electromagnets upper magnet which is e shape and lower magnet which is u shape the upper magnet consists of primary winding on the central limb which is energized by voltage from secondary of pt 
lower magnet houses secondary winding which is energized by current of the circuit from secondary aux city further lower magnet is connected to psm as previous case not shown in between these two electromagnets we have aluminum disc pivoted as shown the aluminum disc carries a moving contact which can bridge fixed contact by rotating through a preset angle the time of operation depends upon the preset angle restraining torque is provided by spring which twists in reverse direction operation from the diagram we can conclude that we have two flux quantities that is 51 and 52 always 51 lakhs v by 90 degree and 52 in phase with current i in phase diagram due to phase difference between two flux quantities that is alpha is equal to 90 minus theta theta 1 51 alpha v and 52 alpha i hence t is equal to 51 52 sin alpha 51 52 sin 90 minus theta d is equal to v i cos theta is equal to power hence the relay activated only when there is a specific direction of power flow when power flow in a normal direction both driving torque and restraining torque twist in same direction and relay does not operate when the power flow is in reverse direction driving torque and restraining torque acts in opposite direction and relay operates therefore circuit breaker operates and disconnects faulty section the directional over current relay from the previous discussion t is equal to vi cos theta under abnormal condition under abnormal condition voltage in the circuit is too low therefore the driving torque becomes abnormally too small hence the relay does not operate that is the directional relay power relay is not suitable for short circuit condition this problem can be overcome by directional over current relay the directional over current relay so we are seeing the construction of direction directional over current relay the directional over current relay makes use of two relays first one is directional power relay or directional element second one is non directional current relay or non non directional element construction construction of directional element it is similar to in construction to directional power relay it consists of upper magnet which is e shaped and carries a primary winding which is excited by voltage of the circuit to be protected through secondary of pt the lower magnet is u shaped carries secondary winding which is excited by current of the circuit is to be protected through secondary of city this secondary winding is extended to a lower magnet primary winding as shown the trip contacts 1 and 2 are connected in series with secondary winding of lower magnet therefore for the relay to operate uh, first directional element should be activated first non directional element it is activated only by current flowing in the circuit it is similar in construction to non directional over current relay for this element to operate at first directional element should be activated first the secondary winding is further connected to psm not for current setting operation when short circuit occurs current tends to be reversed and directional element starts operating and closes the trip contact with closing of trip contact the secondary winding of non directional element is complete and the disc starts rotating when moving contact reaches fixed contact the trip circuit operates and separates the faulty section this is the construction of that thank you